Hello and welcome back to Ultimate Marble Racing. We're here continuing on with Season 2 and this is Race 8 on the Office Pre. So back to the normal racing once again after the very interesting elimination race we had last time. Now this is one of our bigger circuits. There's the creator's logo. I think this is by T-Dub, one of our own racers. Before we have a proper look around, we will get the races in and get the prediction started. So load everyone in, you can see the grid positions here. We'll be doing six laps around this track. And of course, reverse order from the finishing positions in the last race. Now the predictions, let's get those started. We'll start a prediction. How many races will DNF during this race? And start prediction. So two minutes to bet your channel points and make a prediction there. Meanwhile, we'll take a look around the track because this is a returning track. You down the main straight, you go into this three tier bowl. So I'll try and get a good line through all of those. And then into a pipe which takes you out and into the second room. So you've got a bit of a S bend that wiggles its way around here. A couple of triangles on the wall to slow you down. And then some bigger ones here to slow the whole pack down. Then you've got some nails to avoid. Make your way around those. You loop around a couple of triangular spinners. A few more further down here with a few more nails to avoid. As you make your way all the way down to the lower levels, you reach these steps that then take you into a pipe, back up high and back into the original room. This then loops around, you've got two boosters down the middle here, if you can hit those you might be able to get some overtakes into that corner. There's another one in this corner as well. And one on this straight. So this then carries on round, a bunch of nails to avoid down this straight, into some more steps and another pipe which will take you up into the air once again and out onto this main straight with a lot of nails to avoid. This will then go around more nails before dropping into a giant bowl. You want to try and get a good roll around there, get a good drop out into this zone that goes under the desks, into some more steps, another pipe, a big long straight. Now you want to try and get all the way down the middle of this one, avoiding the obstacles on the walls. This takes you around a couple of corners and we've got some spinners on the edges of this straight. Again, you want to try and take a bit of a middle line to get through here. A few nails. A few more obstacles on the walls there. And it loops around. And then to a final set of steps and another pipe which then takes you around into another bowl. Brings you out into this big S bend, up to a ladder, go up the final ladder into the last bowl, into the pipe, up and out along the final straight. Now we have seen someone overshoot the edge of this before. And we've seen people run out of this pipe and along the edge here and fall off just past the uh, start finish line. So. One thing to look out for there, make sure you get a good exit on that pipe and stay on the track. Well, it looks like predictions are finished, so let's get this race underway. As the lights count down. And they are green, so off down the first straight into the bowl. So Muffin's going to take the inside line, a bit more speed, boy with a good exit. He's going to get the drop down shack. So the good drop down on the first two. A very strong start. Alice will get the first drop down to the third pesky bird. Absolutely flying through the last of the bowls. It's very good for them. On the release it's going to be Alice in first, pesky bird in second. Just holding off Adam. Also blocking off shacks. 
you see people dropping down in the background. Did see Zach make a fall there, so they've fallen back down the pipe and will be at the back of the pack. But back up at the front, so Adam is in the lead, Alice now in second, Demon in third, Pesky Bird has dropped to fourth, T Dub just behind, he's going to get pinched backwards, Nick's going to take a spot there. Stanky gets pushed back by Diamond, so it's fortunately gets on the move again. As people group up, there is a chance you can get pinned against the wall if you get a bad bounce. That will lose you a lot of time and a lot of positions. But Adam now in the lead at the front. Demon in second, Pesky Bird up to third. Alice has now dropped to fourth. Dinosaur is just behind, followed by Skyline, Nick and Magic. Adam trying to make an early breakaway. Bit of a rough bounce there. Demon with a bounce gear held back by Alice. Demon drops a fourth skyline. He's going to take the inside route and get past Demon. Stanky and Diamond Swords not far behind. Mario trying to make a lunge on Westport but can't quite make it work. We see Skyline trying to get into that third position. It's quite close in this battle up at the front at the moment. No one's really spread out yet. But onto the first set of steps. Also, we have Demon, Magic, Diamond Sword, Shaq, Stanky, Adam, Pesky Bird, and Alice side by side. The rest make their way in, start to queue up, join them. So we've had a fall down there. Had a few. Big disaster for a few people there. Let's go set them back by quite a lot. That can be one of the issues when there's a lot of people trying to get through that pipe at the same time. We see Mario as well with a big fall. Westport, Sawyer and Andrew as well. As long as they stay in the pipe, they will at least be able to recover and continue on. Now up at the front, Stanky in the lead. Magic fighting with Alice for second. Just manages to hold them off. Shax is just behind in fourth. Pesky Bird has dropped to seventh. In front of them is Boer and Cloud Monkey. Sankey's going to go for a lunge off the inside. Does make it work. Slowing Alice down, meaning Magic is now just behind them as well. Alice is going to sit right on the tail of Stanky. Who's going to get the better line through this area? Looks like Alice will. Magic with a good line through there, manages to join Alice side by side for the battle for first on the steps. Then it looks like Stanky, Shax, Boer, Bad Monkey, Pesky Bird, Zor, Tokyo, James, Cheese, China and Adam are all side by side. And we'll be fighting for positions. So up at the front, oh, Big hit for Alice and Magic managing to give them a nudge as they make their way past. That's going to be a big time loss. See Cloud Monkey with a good run here, but Wurr and Tokyo with more speed as Cloud Monkey gets a bad bounce into the corner. Wurr getting a good line through there is making some time. So Wurr is right behind Alice here. Magic taking a slightly different line around the bowl. See which line pays off. It looks like Magic does have the better line there, down and out. And Boer dropping down in second, just in front of Alice. We've got Barto now up into fourth. Very good drop down for them. They've gone from not even being in the top 20 to being fourth. And now competing for first, so a very good drop down for Barto. But it is still only lap one. So into the pipe. Magic getting slowed down with that with not having the best line. Barto is now up into the lead. On the exit, Barto has got a run down the straight. We'll be making big time trying to break away in first. Magic's taking a good line. So is Cloud Monkey. Magic's gonna hit the wall. Cloud Monkey with loads of speed is now gonna chase down Barto for the lead. See Zor now moving up to third. 
good run through there as well. It looks like Harry is off the track in the distance. I think Skyline is as well. We see Carol and Jenny having trouble in the pipe. Falling back down, but Barto trying to break away with the lead. Cloud Monkey also trying to make a big gap in second. We've got Zor in third. And further back, we have Magic, closely followed by Armtech and Boer. Then Alice, closely followed by Pesky Bird. Then Adam and Shaq side by side going into the spinner. James will be joining them. Pesky Bird with a bit of a slowdown, but Shaq is going to help them out. Not getting a smooth entry through the spinners as people are starting to group up again in the middle. Boy with a slowdown. Going to get past. So Magic and Adam now in just in front of Boy. Barto still holding the lead. In the background we can see the rest of the racers making their way down that main straight. Barto has dropped into the bowl. Cloud Monkey having some trouble getting going out the other side of that pipe. Adam with a very good release. We'll be carrying more speed around but we'll get blocked. Behind them we've got Magic followed by Zor and Boer. Then we have Armtech followed by Stanky. Baz with a bad release out of the pipe. It's going to lose quite a few spots. Seems like a lot of these pipes are going to be able to make or break your run. Oh, Barto having trouble at the ladder. It's going to be joined by Cloud Monkey. Cloud Monkey actually sneaking in front. Very big move for them. Massive time loss for Barto. That is very bad for them. Well, with a bit of a rough bounce there. It's going to get blocked by Zor. We'll have to wait. Get on the ladder. Stanky getting blocked out. Daz is sneaking in to block out Stanky. Oh, and a rock back. This is bad news for Stanky. They're getting pushed back further and further. It's getting blocked out. So a massive drop in positions there for Stanky. Just in time now getting held up as well. Beefcake failing to make it on. It's a bit of a disaster on the entrance to this ladder. Meanwhile, Magic with a very good drop down is going to move up into second just behind Cloud Monkey. Barto now in third. See how the release is on the final straight. Barto with a quicker release than Magic. Looks like you do get slowed down on the exit landing. No, you don't. Maybe they just had a very slow release for the two of them. And carry some good speed out of here. Boer with some good speed. Does with even better, but gets blocked by Boer. Alice moving very slow. Cheese is going to try and make the overtake. They make it work. But Westport showing how it's done. Carrying loads of speed. And dropping into the bowl. Gaining quite a few positions there. But up at the front. Barto making an absolute breakaway. Magic chasing them down. Then a bit of a gap further back to Tokyo in third. Daza in fourth. Adam in fifth. Daz is going to gain a spot there. Armtech with a very good run. Sneaks in front of Daza as well, so they're going to be moving up to third. Slowing Daza down, so Tokyo is now right behind them. It's going to push them into the corner and take that position away from them. Barto hitting off a couple of the nails means Magic's going to sneak past and get up into first. Barto does manage to block, to block Tokyo out, meaning Barto is going to be holding second. Tokyo is just behind them in third. Zach looks like they've gone off in the background. Because they're not far behind. Tokyo in second. Barto in third. Daza in fourth. Bad bounce for Tokyo is going to block Barto as well. I mean, Daz is going to sneak through. 
Miles is going to try and get the inside line, but not enough speed. We're tucking behind Tokyo. Daza now into second. Bartok getting slowed down a bit. There's still a battle going on behind. So coming over to the steps. It's like Crimson and Skyline are both off in the distance. So Bato not making it on the first lot, but also we have Adam, Zord, Dazza, Armtech, Magic, and Tokyo side by side fighting for that top spot. Everyone else starts making their way down to join. Looks like we haven't had any issues with the first group going through this pipe. We're going to have any rollbacks. Barto with the rollback, that is not good for them. They are struggling to get going again. So after such a good run for Barto, this is going to be a massive time loss. They have moved down to 13th. A costly error. Meanwhile, Zor and Magic are fighting side by side for the first spot. Zor blocking Magic. Magic's going to block Tokyo. Does not like anyone's going to hit that inside booster. As I say that, Adam does. Gets a bit of a run up on arm tech. We see Snorka falling down in the background. Budo way behind, making their way around the track. Magic getting back in front of Zorn, reclaiming that top spot. Down to the next steps. Going to have to wait, which means they're going to be joined by a few people here. Tokyo doesn't quite make it. So it's going to be Magic, Zord, Dazza and Logan side by side fighting for first. Off the top of this. We see the rest of the racers making their way through. And Cheese moving up into that 20th spot. Doesn't quite make it on the steps though. So there is going to be a battle for that 20th position and the last spot for some points. We're going to have quite a few people racing for that final point scoring position. Every point counts. Tokyo getting slowed down a bit here. Dirt Monster is off. And it looks like Logan is now up at the front. So Logan, then Magic, then Dazza, followed by Zor, Armtech, Adam, Cloud Monkey, Tokyo, Shax, and of course Dirt Monster going off. It's going to be dropping positions and will be a DNF. But a big turn of events for Logan, now trying to break away in first. Magic now dropping to third behind Dazza. See Mario Hunter's gone off as well at some point. But the battle for first is currently between Logan, Magic and Dazza. But Adam, Armtech and Zor are not far behind. Dazza with a rough entry onto that turn. A better release than Magic. Magic going quite slow but can they get a straight line? Logan's going to hit the wall. They're all going to hit the obstacles on the wall. To slow the three of them down. This is a chance for someone to make a good run. Someone like Adam. Could this be possible for them? Hitting Magic. Magic just getting the block on them. That will slow them down. They've gained one position and a lot of time. But Logan can be flying back through. Trying to take that first spot once again. It's just behind Magic. Zor in third. Dazza trying to push a better line through. Doesn't make it work. But they are carrying more speed into this next straight. The Dazza up into third. How will they get through the spinner? Zor getting stuck in the spinner pretty bad there. Adam's going to come through and set them free, but this means Dazza can make a breakaway. Logan with a good inside run, avoiding all of the obstacles. Magic hits one. Dazza gets through without hitting any. So Logan in first, Dazza now in second, but a bit of a slider on the corner. Magic in third, Adam in fourth. So the position's still changing around quite a bit up at the front. Looks like Quack Shona and Jenny have gone off as well at some point in the back. Looks like they may have gone off from the main straight. So a few DNFs already. It looks like our leading group is breaking away from the main pack. 
but this could all change. We are only on lap two. Slow release for Dazza and Magic. So Logan's going to use that to their advantage. Take that first place. Dazza having trouble with the corners. Does just block Adam out. Does need to be a bit quicker around those bends. On Ib with a big roll down the pipe, sending them all the way out and off the track backwards. Horrible way to end their race. So Logan heading towards the ladder now in the lead. Can they get a good entry onto the ladder? Have they timed it right? They have not. They're going to bounce backwards. A big roll. Bounce again. Magic rebounding Adam and Dazza joining. It looks like Magic's going to block Logan and Adam. So Magic and Dazza are now side by side. Then it's Logan. They've got Tokyo and Adam side by side. And then Zor. Behind them, Super Boss with a very good entry there. Shax is going to get a bounce backwards. Armtech is going to seal that spot from them. T Dub joins Shax. Cloud Monkey, Alice, and Demon are side by side. Behind them, we've got Wolf and Poms. And then we've got Cutsy Wood and Space Comet. And then we see Pesky Bird. And then Jake is going to sneak on to make up the top 20 point scoring positions. Dazza with a perfect drop down. Magic, not too bad. Tokyo with a perfect drop. Going to push them up to third. Adam hits Zor. That actually helped both of them get through. Logan's going to drop a couple of places. Oh, a big fall for Tokyo. Taking Logan out on the way down. Superboss going to be able to get through. Tokyo still falling backwards. Armtech is in the bowl. Up at the top. A bad release for... Superboss Logan with a lot of speed into that first bowl. But Dazza currently in the lead. Anyone going to get a good drop down? Dazza dropping down first, followed by Magic and Zor. You see everyone else coming across the line now. A few people dropping, so Stanky dropped down the pipe. It's like Jake may be off, it looks like they have fallen off the track. It'll be a DNF for them. We see Zach down the bottom there, off the track as well. But Adam now moving up into the lead. Dazza now in second, Zor in third. And Magic in fourth. See if anyone else is off. Looks like Beefcake has gone off. Falling down the back. Off the track. At the back we see Stormy and Budo. But back to the front runners in this battle for first. So we are halfway through the race. Adam currently leading, Zor in second. Magic and Dazza fighting side by side for third. Super bus a bit further back in fifth and then a bit of a gap to T dub, Logan and Wolf. Zor's gonna move up to the lead on that corner, getting past Adam. Daz is trying to break away from magic. Try and make a bit of a gap. Looks like Zor, Adam and Daz are gonna be side by side on the steps, but magic just missing out. Superboss will be joining Magic. We'll be fighting with them for that position. Cutsy is off. And so is Diamond Swords. Up at the top, Zor and Adam are both through. Dazza is through. Superboss is going to fall back down, but Magic makes it through. T Dub getting past Superboss where they get a good run through the pipe. No, T-Dub's going to fall back as well, not getting enough momentum. Not hitting anyone though, so that should be good for them. But Demon and Wolf rolling back T-Dub. 
just carrying enough to get through this time. Logan and Wood make it through. We see side effects. Wolf, Tokyo, Alice, Demon, and Barto. But Shucks just behind as well. Up at the front, the battle is still raging for first. Adam is now back into the lead. Zor in second. Dazza in third. And now a bigger gap back to Magic in fourth. And Superboss in fifth. Logan in sixth. Wood in seventh. T-Dub in eighth. And there is a battle going on for ninth between Alice Tokyo, Wolf and Demon. As we head back up to the front, Zor is extending that lead. Dazza and Adam are going to be fighting side by side into the pipe. See who gets the better release. Good by Adam, but Dazza gets more speed running down the outside, but will hit one of the nails. In fact, he's going to hit two of the nails, so a big time loss for Dazza as Adam gets through clean. I will start to try and chase down Zor for that number one spot. But Dazza has now been overtaken by Magic. So big time loss for Dazza, and they are still losing time. This might give a chance for Logan or Wood to also gain another position. Behind we see Superboss, followed by Demon, T-Dub and Tokyo very close together. Wolf and Alice also just behind them. Wolf actually going for an overtake on Demon. Alice is going to try and cut through the inside as well and they do. Slightly different line around the bowl than Armtech, King, uh, King Bato and Dom. Then we see the main group dropping in. Big group of racers all together trying to get up into a point scoring position. But up at the front, Zor is trying to make an absolute breakaway, although bouncing off the walls down the straight. This could just take one person to get a good run. Adam with a good run, but not good enough. Though maybe it is. One bounce. And they're on the move again. Momentum into the next straight. So they are now in first. Zor bouncing all the way down. It's going to lose so much time. They're down in second. But it does not like anyone else is getting a good run, run through here to try and challenge that second place. So Magic in third. Wood now in fourth. Dazza dropping so many positions this lap. It's now down to sixth. So it's not been a good lap for them. Stanky, oh, but thought they were on this bit then, but they're actually in the background. I saw their name. So Superboss in seventh, Alice in eighth. Demon with a lot of speed through there is going to cut off space. Come Armtech with a very good run. It's going to join the back of that row. So it's now Alice in eighth, Demon in ninth, Armtech in tenth, getting blocked by Demon. Space Comet in eleventh. So up at the front, Adam in the lead into the pipe. Zor about to drop in now. Magic only just joining the steps, going to bounce backwards. Dazza now back in front of Wood. They will be side by side on the steps. Is Superboss going to be able to join them? It looks like they will. Logan just missing out. Now in the bowl. Hello, pesky bird. Adam dropping out the bowl. Heading down to the ladder. Zor still in second. So a bit of a time loss for Adam on the ladder, but a good enough entry. But Zor with a perfect entry. That is a big time gain. Wood in third, but doesn't time it right with the ladder. Going to be sitting there waiting to get on, and a rollback is not good. 
that does set them up to get on. Dazza, where is Dazza? What's happened to them? They're losing a lot of time once again has dropped all the way to seventh. So Wood now in third. Superboss and Logan side by side on the ladder. Dazza sneaks in front of Magic. Clearly listening to what I'm saying. So Dazza will take that spot holding Magic back. Then we've got Demon just behind in eighth. Space Comet in ninth. But a rebound is going to mean Arm Tech and Marley sneak in and steal that two uh, positions from Space Comet. Uh, yeah, Pesky Red. It hasn't been not going too well, but we're just past the halfway mark. And you are on the leaderboard. And that does mean points. Every point matters. But if you want a chance of trying to chase down these top two, you're going to have to really pull something out in the second half of this race. <laughs> So Adam and Zor side by side fighting. Adam gets a perfect drop down into the third bowl though and will be on the move. Superboss managing to get past Wood across the line. Logan just behind them. Dazza just in front of Magic with a bit more momentum into the first bowl. We see Demon dropping in as well. It's going to be a few bumps. Demon actually shoving Wood out the way. That's going to delay Wood's drop down. Causing them to drop a few positions. McWave getting the fastest lap that time around. Anyone going to have any problems with the pipe? So Wood dropping down in front of Demon and Dazza. Dazza rolling backwards is going to fall. Things are falling apart for them. This past couple of laps have not been great. Would imagine to reclaim a couple of positions. Team is going to try and make a lunge down the inside. Makes it work with a very good pass. But Wood's going to block them out on the next section. Lose them a bit of time. Space Comet not far behind Demon. But this big gap up to our front too. Zor and Adam. Zor currently leading. And trying to break away with it. Adam in second. Pesky Bird, yeah, unfortunately falling off the leaderboard. But everyone is very close together trying to fight for that 20th spot. It's a very competitive race. So I imagine there's still a lot of movement to be had. And some of these pipes are ruthless. So we see Superboss, Logan, Wood, Demon, Space coming close together. Alice may be joining them if they get a good run through those obstacles. But it wasn't great, so they've slowed down a bit. They do have a big pack following them. Zor with a slow release from this pipe. Could be a chance for Adam to try and make some time, although the gap is still quite big from first to second. A bit quicker than Zor's release. They will be carrying more speed around the bend. Superboss colliding with Magic is going to push Magic back down that drop. Managing to avoid everyone on the way down. Wood gets through well. Demon dropping back down. Collides with Logan, but Logan keeps going. Magic having trouble at the bottom though. Having trouble getting going again. Demon's going to drop back once again. So does Barto. So it's not looking good for Demon. Absolutely falling apart this lap. Going from top 5 position. If I remember correctly now down to 15th. With two drop downs. Superboss hitting the booster. A bit of a rebound off the wall. Wood in fourth. In Westport dropped down the pipe in the background there and they're having some difficulties themselves. Further up ahead, Super Boss onto the steps. Lean. Is Wood going to time it well? 
They do. And Space Comet is not going to make it in time. So our top four are starting to spread apart. Making it harder and harder for anyone further back to have a chance of getting up into one of these top spots. James stuck on one of the nails. That is going to be a DNF for them. Even if they get moving again, they will be a lap down. All you're looking for is points. That's all that matters. Again, those crucial points. It's all rolling along the barrier. Manages to recover and get back on the track, but that was almost a runoff for Zor, and that would have been a horrible way to end the race from first. Looks like Marley has managed to get themselves stuck. Adam also running on the barrier. So our front two playing it risky, really pushing the exit. But currently paying off. Wood coming around, taking it a bit steadier. And then a gap back to Logan in fifth. Space Comet very close behind. Then we've got Barto, Demon, T Dub, and Alice. Demon with a bad bounce means T Dub is going to take that position. Demon tries to make a lunge but doesn't make it work. Alice is right behind them. Magic with a good run around the outside of just in time. And at the steps, it looks like. It's going to be a big group joining each other here, trying to get into that top 10 spot. Trying to get as many points as they can. Every single point counts. Space Comet just get in front of Wood and actually blocks them out, but Wood getting momentum going again would we'll reclaim that position. Keep hold of fourth, but Space Comet is not far behind. See, Muffin has gone off at some point in the background. So has Budo, who is having a very slow race. Superboss with an overtake on Adam will be moving up to second. And will now be on a mission to chase down Zor, who's currently being held up at the steps. I don't think Superboss is going to be quick enough. They are not. So Zor is still safe in that top spot on lap four as we are approaching the end of this lap. Adam also too slow to join Superboss, so Superboss will be second, Adam will be third. Sawyer in fourth, Space Comet has managed to get past Wood once again, but they are fighting very close together. Sawyer is on the steps. It looks like Space Comet and Wood won't quite make it on, so they'll be side by side. Armtech and Logan will be joining them. So getting held up at these steps. Oh, Logan doesn't make it on though. Yeah, you can face quite a bit of time loss on these steps. Chance for some of the back runners to try and catch up. But anyone outside the top 20 is going to have to pull out some really quick laps if they want to get up into a high point scoring position. Zor still flying away with the lead. Superboss in second. Wood with an amazing drop down side by side with Adam is actually going to come out of the pipe in front and will take third. Adam just behind in fourth. Zor getting held up at the ladder gets nudged by Superboss. Superboss doesn't make it on but Zor does. Wood now joining Superboss on the ladder. So a strong lap for Wood on lap four. Really pushing the limit. But can they keep the momentum down to the end? Adam losing quite a bit of time. Sawyer losing a bit of time on the ladder as well, quite far back. Uh, Pesky, uh, I think you're still on the track. Looks like Wolf's gone off at some point. We will take a look further back at everyone else. So yeah, Pesky Bird, you are still going around. Up on the first straight. Zor has had an absolute nightmare. Has actually lost first. Superboss has bounced backwards and has fallen off, which means Wood is actually going to fly into first. 
into the bowl of Zor with a careful release. But Wood with a good drop down into that first bowl. So a nightmare for Super Boss with a rebound backwards is going to be a DNF after being in second. Well, moving up into first actually before that happened. And Zor seems to have had some trouble, which has set them back by quite a bit. A big time loss for them. Meanwhile, Wood is now making their way around the track in first. Zor with a bit more speed, not far behind them in second. And then we do have a bit of a gap now back to third. Adam dropping down in that third spot. Sawyer in fourth. Barto in fifth. We've got Space Comet in 6th. Go up and look at the exit. Danny in 7th, just in time in 8th. Space Comet in ninth. Alice in 10th. Up to our front two. Zor's now reclaimed that lead. We're going to try and block Wood out. They do it successfully. The Wood is right behind them in 2nd. Yeah, you may have jinxed yourself in the chat with that one. Esky Bird hoping for a choke. We do see that quite a lot. People using up the all their momentum early on. Pesky Bird moving up to 16th. That's a big gain there as Demon just drops out of the top 20. But Wood now back into first is in front of Zor once again. Going to be a tough battle between these two up at the front. Neither of them wanting to repeat what Superboss did and choke their position. Demon now getting back up into that 20th spot. Sawyer in third, Alice in fourth, Adam in fifth. Arto in 6th, TJ 7th, just in time 8th, Space Comet 9th, and Akane 10th. It's all getting the better run into this pipe. Good exit as well. Wood with a bit of a slower exit, but doesn't roll back down. That is the most important thing there. And the battle for 3rd is raging right now. We've got Alice, Sawyer, Space Comet, Adam, and just in time, all side by side. So the top 20 are still tightly packed together. See if we get any rollbacks. Just in time with the rollback. It's a disaster for them. They catch TJ on the way. And Logan with a rollback as well. A big time loss for them. A big drop in positions. But a chance for people further back. Oh, TJ with a good boost there. will get past just in time. And T dub. Logan having a nightmare. Demon dropping down as well. The Demon's race falling apart in these final few laps. But up at the front. Zor is leading Wood with some good speed. We do have a marble cam request as Wood and Zor are side by side. And the request is for Pesky Bird. So we will be spectating Pesky Bird for a little while here. Currently in 16th, but China right behind them. See quite a few DNFs off in the distance. We've lost quite a few races this time around. We see Zor and Wood in the background. Looks like Wood's got some good momentum, but Zor's still holding first. Marley yet to be set free. Don't think they're going to be moving from that now. Alice has managed to get themselves stuck as well. From a fourth place, has managed to get themselves stuck and will be dropping very far down so they'll probably be dropping off the leaderboard if they don't get set free soon see Alice there now joining the pack but don't think it's going to be good enough looks like Barto had a fall down there interfering with Dazza but it does mean Pesky Road gets a run past nearly bouncing off the edge 
that is going to be it for our marble cam for now as it looks like something is going on up at the front this wood has dropped a few positions somewhere is this but I'm not sure where Oh, it looks like wood has gone off the track at some point. Oops, going to the pause menu. That was a big roll off as well. That must have been potentially coming over this wall on the exit of the bowl. To an absolute disaster, which means Zor is currently holding the lead by quite a bit. And yeah, I think there was some jinxing going on in the chat. But Zor absolutely flying away with the lead. Currently Soyan out in second with a good run through there. Just in time with a lot of momentum as well in third. Dana going a bit slow in fourth. We've got Armtech and TJ. Adam's going to get a good run through. Getting past TJ, past Armtech and past Akane. So up into fourth. A very strong run. Just like Pesky Bird has moved up into 12th. Alice managing to hold a spot on the leaderboard in the top 20 after that hold up on the nail. They are only just in 19th. Logan comes through, so that will drop Alice to 20th. Blockmaster gets passed as well. That might be Alice dropping off the top 20. It is. So a costly mistake. So Zor still holding a strong lead. Sawyer and Just In Time side by side, but a bad release for Just In Time. What's going on back here? Looks like Baz had a rollback. See Adam in fourth coming out of the pipe now and heading around to the bowl. Then we've got Barto, Akane, Armtech, and T Dub all close together. quite a few DNFs this race. I am actually kind of surprised by the number. A lot of mistakes. Sawyer's not going to get a good entry there. Just in time with a perfect entry. We'll move up into second. Sawyer's still trying to get on the ladder. Does make it on in third. Barto with a rebound. Adam just makes it on. Would we'll steal a position from Barto. So Barto will move down to fifth. Logan is going to sneak in front of Akane. T Dub will be joining Akane there. Armtech, Magic, and TJ will be side by side. Space Comet with a bounce. Daza gets on. Pesky Bird will be side by side with 